Hey, you, before you watch this, pause the f***ing video and subscribe to Semi-Pro right now. What's going on, YouTube? Ryan, back again with another video. Today, we're talking about Deshaun Watson. The Texans are asking Deshaun Watson to do it alone, and he can't. Simple as that. The Texans, last season, made the playoffs with a 10-6 record, but they finished with a negative 7 net point differential. That means one of two things. They either got incredibly lucky, or they are clutch as hell. And it's probably a little combination of both. But what it means for sure is that Houston won a lot of close games. In fact, they won nine one-possession games. That has a lot to do with Deshaun Watson, because he is elite. He led five game-winning drives last season, which was the most in the entire NFL. But other than that, Watson's stats already started to slip from last season. He threw for less yards, more interceptions, and had a lower quarterback rating. That's not necessarily all his fault, but the team around him. And this year, the team has gotten much worse. Mostly because of Bill O'Brien. He's a terrible, and I mean downright awful, GM. The obvious is trading away DeAndre Hopkins for David Johnson, a past his prime running back on a terrible contract and a second round pick. This directly affects Watson in a huge way. Hopkins is one of the best wideouts in football, and now Watson doesn't have his safety net on the outside. Then Bill O'Brien tried to replace Hopkins with Brandon Cooks, who he gave up a second round pick for. Let's review. They just gave up Hopkins for a second round pick, and they got Cooks for a second round pick. So if you do the math, Bill O'Brien minus Hopkins plus David Johnson plus Brandon Cooks equals one really stupid GM. That's only one incidence. GM Bill has many more, such as trading Jadeveon Clowney for a third round pick, or giving up a third round pick for Duke Johnson, or trading an offensive lineman for Carlos Hyde when the Texans gave up the most sacks in football. And that's just GM Bill. Coach Bill sucks too. He makes terrible play calls and is terrible situationally. But I don't think I need to tell Houston fans this. People expect for Houston to be back because they have Deshaun Watson. But we've seen talented QBs miss the playoffs before. It's happened to Breeze, it's happened to Russ, and it's happened to Rodgers when they haven't had the proper talent around them. And Houston is heading down that same path. Watson has a lot of average receivers on the outside. Brandon Cooks, Kenny Stills, Randall Cobb, Will Fuller, and Kiki QT. That grouping, I see three deep threats and two slot receivers. What I don't see is a true X receiver. Someone Watson can rely on. Last season, Watson was bailed out a lot by throwing it to Hopkins and Nuke just bailing him out, making spectacular plays. And I'm not faulting Deshaun Watson here. He could afford to do that because he knew what Nuke could do and he knew that Hopkins could beat any cornerback on the outside. But they just don't have that guy anymore. The Texans also have one of the worst O-lines in football. Watson was sacked 55 times last season. Yes, Larry Mutunsel was a good addition, and he did a great job shoring up the left side of the line, at least in some capacity, but Watson was still sacked more than any other QB in the league, and the running backs are terrible as well. They have one of the worst backfields in the league, with David Johnson, who is old and on a mega contract, and then there's Duke Johnson, who's fine, but he's a third down back and he's really not anything more. So Watson has almost zero offensive help around him. He can't lead this team by himself. He can't overcome the personnel disadvantage and the head coaching incompetence all by himself. There's only so much one man can do. Last year, Houston got very lucky. And now they're worse. Don't expect them to be in the playoffs this year because they won't get lucky again.